Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. Yeah, we've been working along with the Arduino Giga Display Shield. You can see we unboxed it. We checked out the graphics library. We checked out LVGL examples. And we're following this getting started with the Giga Display Shield guide. Yeah, graphics, LVGL. Up next is Arduino graphics library. Okay, you want to make sure you have the Giga Core <laughs> installed. And remember, I couldn't see the example sketches last time, even though the Arduino H7 video library's example sketches are supposed to be included with the embed OS support. So I uninstalled and reinstalled the Arduino embed OS Giga board support and, you know, closing the Arduino IDE in between. So uninstall, close, reinstall, open. And we see here, now the example sketches show up as we expect. Down here, yeah, examples for Arduino Giga R1. That was supposed to be there when you add the board support. So if you didn't see the examples like I didn't see in the previous video, go ahead and remove and reinstall the embed Giga OS support. Okay, the first example sketch, they're going to use the draw part of Arduino graphics. This was actually pretty interesting. I didn't see where they were going with this. The example sketch is called Arduino Logo Drawing. Here's the code, drawing some lines and some circles. And it's supposed to draw the Arduino logo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got to make sure to install the Arduino graphics library. So you can search for it in Library Manager. There we go. Go ahead and install that. And it's installed. All right, so after the reset, there we go. It draws the Arduino logo. So a blue circle with two white circles, a line across one and a couple of lines crisscrossing each other on the other side. I, I wouldn't have seen it by looking at the code, but there you go. Next is about displaying images. First, they talk about the image converter. I got more on that before because I revisited the LVGL image example. I wanted to make my own image. I couldn't quite master the image conversion for the Arduino graphics library while I was making this video, but I went back and fixed my problem with the LVGL library. We'll see that in a minute. So this is just going to draw the image of the Arduino logo. It's not actually drawing it, it's displaying the image. And you see it's an image include file. Yeah, right there, image Arduino logo H. Yeah, I was following what they say. <laughs> Output format binary RGB 565, but I actually got binary where they have like, you know, hex codes in their, in their H file. So I, I've still got to go back and figure that one out. We'll go ahead and send that sketch. And we go ahead and reset. And there's the image of the Arduino logo displayed. I really like the Giga Display Shield. This is a pretty cool gadget. We're going to get more into the rest of the features, the microphone, the uh, accelerometer and gyroscope, etc. Let's see. Yeah. So like I say, I revisited the LVGL image conversion. And I think what I did was I renamed the file after I converted it. And you don't want to do that because the name of the file is in the include file six times. So name your file the desired name first. So I called it image Shotoku tech, right? And I'm selecting that image Shotoku tech file for conversion. I'm going to use CF true color, not checking anything else, and I'm exporting to a C array. Yeah, you see here, if you change the name of the file after you export it, you're going to have to go six different places and type it, and it's got to be in the appropriate syntax, uppercase or lowercase, as you see here. So, yeah, name your file first before you convert it. Yeah, here's the image sketch from the LVGL library examples, and you can see I'm using that image to Toku tech include file. 
And you can see it's already compiled successfully, so let's upload it and check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I made the grid bigger. It was like 500 by 400, so I made it the full 800 by 480. And I set the image size to 800 by 480. And let's go ahead and check the image properties itself. And we see, yeah, it was indeed 800 by 480 to begin with. All right, here we go. There's the reset. Yay, I got my image. <laughs> there you go. So that I'll, I really honestly believe I just renamed the file after I converted it and didn't realize it was all over the file names all over the include file. I just didn't look. You know, these, these production schedules get tough. It's like, I got to make a video now. Got to make a video right after, etc. Anyway, leave a comment down below what you think of the Arduino Giga Display Shield. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Arduino Giga Display Shield videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.